we all have one another's backs. We all kind of take care of one another. You become to rely on the people around you. Like it, we, we have a really, really good workshop here. So yeah, it was a big deal to come down here. It was a big deal, but it was important when when I heard the reasoning behind it, and I heard the kind of the, the, the what they were trying to set up, what Troy, Troy were trying to set up. I actually thought it was worthy. It's an idea that I, I just really like the idea of getting the studio up and running, getting local people involved, trying to make it something that people could feel they owned, that they were part of. This department now, uh, sculptural model making, we'd have six people working here. There'd be three sculptors and three model makers. And then we've brought in about 14 trainees from the Limerick area. An awful lot of the people have come in to work with us, are graduates of the School of Art. Early on in the production, uh, the work you know, tended to be 39 hours, plus maybe an hour or two over time. As it gets closer to the shoot, obviously the ante's up, and this, we, can be, you know, we can be working to maybe nine o'clock and kind of six days a week. So Some people actually thrive on it. They love the feeling of it. They love the excitement, the pressure. Because it's not for everybody. It definitely isn't for everyone. You know, it, it asks a lot of you, the job. I've been working in film for, I'd say, nearly near on 20 years at this stage. But the nature of the business is that you could have three months here, four months there, two weeks here, one week there. So what I tend to do is I've kind of, I have my own ongoing work that I'll be working on, kind of printing, um, uh, photography, sculpture. It's getting those little ticks in your CV, I suppose, that's going to make Troy work. So yeah, I'd love, I'd love to see that happen. I, I think it deserves it. I think Limerick deserves it.